In patients presenting with hip pain, a quick scan of the hip can both identify or rule out some of the most common pathologies on my differential diagnosis. Using a linear scanner on the MSK preset, I'm going to start my hip scan by finding the femur. Here is the bright white line on the bottom. And I'm going to scan proximal until I start to see the epigastric vessels. I'm going to rotate the transducer until I can clearly see the femoral head right there. I'll scan the femoral head and the neck to make sure I don't see any fluid suggestive of a joint effusion. From here, I can move proximal up towards the inguinal ligament to see if I can see any bulge suggestive of an indirect or a direct hernia, depending on which side of the epigastric vessels is coming. And then from here, I'll come back down the femur and slide out towards the trochanteric bursa out on the lateral aspect to see if I find any fluid collection in either the greater trochanteric bursa itself or some of the surrounding bursa areas. In this healthy patient, no obvious pathology was identified.